name's Susan Hagstrom. I'm the owner of Snapshots by Susan. It's a small photography business based here in Hull. It's funny, I lived in Hingham for uh, over 20 years. And even though I was only a few miles from here, I had no idea. I had never seen Straits Bond. Now that I'm here, I mean, I'm constantly looking every day, you know, many times a day looking at the, the habitat and it's amazing how this kind of small environment supports so many different species of birds and other animals. I mean, I've seen swans, I've seen swan babies. There's of course herons and egrets and it, it, it's seasonal. And for a photographer, that's great because you can anticipate what's coming up. So you can be ready at different times of the day or different times of, of the season for what's gonna be happening in your environment. And of course, that's how you try to ensure taking better pictures. The habitat, the, the pond, the estuary, I drive many times from my house in Hull back to Hingham along the estuary. Hopefully I'm not swerving into your lane ever because I'm always looking, looking, and I try to be better with having my camera in the car with me. Sometimes, of course, if I see it's gonna be sunset, I'll make a special trip to go over, but the best thing, of course, is to be prepared so that when you're driving by and you see a kayaker or a bird stalking its prey or the light on the marsh looks a certain way, well, if you don't have your camera with you, it's not great. So yeah, the, the, the whole atmosphere, the whole habitat, the landscape here is just so inspiring and has definitely inspired a lot of my photography. This is my home, so I can be here 24 seven. That's again, how you become experienced at a landscape. So you hopefully then can portray the nuances of it through your, through your art, whether that's photography or painting or sculpting or whatever it is. Hopefully I am portraying the estuary as being healthy and vibrant, which it is. In addition to the bird life and other animal life, I mean, we have deer here, all, all kinds of, of animals supported by the pond. And then of course on the estuary, there's kayakers, there's boaters and other people, rowers. And of course they have the head of the weir. And I photographed that many times. And you know, I'm always looking for different angles. So, you know, people driving along George Washington Boulevard may have a view of the estuary, but if you go onto World's End and you look back, you'll see a different angle that makes it look completely different. So I guess, I guess it would be twofold. I'm trying to show the vibrancy and health of the area, but also hopefully explore different angles and have people maybe discover something new that they didn't know. And frankly, that's the thing I love is every day there's something new to discover. Just when you think, you know, you know a place, you'll learn something new. I'll see a, a new species of bird or see a bird doing something different or see people using the estuary in a way that's new to me. So it's, it's ever evolving and ever changing, which makes it very interesting. Of course, when you're any kind of an artist, you want people to be inspired by your work. So I hope that people enjoy the photographs of the estuary. I hope they're inspired by it. I hope they're inspired to use the estuary and look at it and come take a look at Straits Pond because it's here for everyone to enjoy it. And I imagine that there's many, many people who like myself had lived just a couple miles away from it and never seen it. So. Hopefully this brings light to, to it and hopefully people can enjoy it. Happy National Estuaries Week.